Atlanta Motor Speedway was the second NASCAR Oval Track of the Year. Accompanying Daytona and Marvin Muscan aboard his Red Bull KTM came as the most recent winner from St. Louis a week ago, riding high on momentum and feel. It's always good to get a W. Yeah, and just an incredible ride last weekend at the Show Me State. So, come time for 450 main event, and Eli Tomac had one thing on his mind. In addition to victory, that was extending his championship points lead. He got a great start. Not quite as good as Justin Barsha and Chase Sexton, though. It wasn't. Those are two, that was two fabulous starts by the 51 and the number 23 of Chase Sexton. But look at there, Eli Tomac right there, Jason Anderson right there. Jason Anderson and Chase Sexton, I feel, were the two fastest guys, but man. What a hit right there, the first lap. Marvin Muscan, that was a tough crash that he took. That ground is hard right there. Those memories of victory in St. Louis were immediately erased because that one hurt. Then, good scrap at the front for the lead between Gas Gas and Honda, Barsha and Sexton. And Sexton was pretty patient and then executed that move. Barsha didn't want to give it up, but he didn't have a choice. No, he didn't, and he went to the inside, and that allowed Chase Sexton to carry the momentum around the outside, and then he could do that rhythm lane right there, and pulls away, gets a little gap over Justin Barsha. So the 22-year-old, two-time 250 champ, out in front and took off. But Anderson was in hot pursuit, and then this was one of the moments of the 450 main. And just another slip up. This seems to have been the tail of the tape for Chase Sexton all season long. Like, everything is good, and then, boom, all of a sudden, he sees himself down on the ground. That put Monster NG Kawasaki's Jason Anderson out in the lead. He won in Atlanta before, but at a different venue. Was he en route to do it again? You right. betcha he was. Right, they look good. This is a crash by Justin Barsha. That right hander was really, really difficult. And probably a false sense of security as far as grip goes for most of these riders out there today. Then this was the save of the race. How Justin Barsha did not come off his bike, did not high side his bike in the middle of the whoops there was incredible. It was miraculous. And a really enjoyable tussle between a couple of champions in the 450 category. Eli Tomac put maybe the move of the race on Cooper Webb. Well, and he salvaged a little bit of points to possibly give him a chance to secure this championship next weekend in Foxborough. So, comeback by Jet Lawrence in the 250s, comeback by fellow Honda rider and teammate Chase Sexton in the 450s as he leapt big and leapt by Cooper Webb. Just launching over that jump. That was to get himself on the podium. But no one was going to go near Jason Anderson, fourth win of the 2022 season, and did it in style. He said he wasn't going to make it easy for Eli Tomac. He did everything that he could. And this is the Jason Anderson that we saw a lot of, I'd say the first eight rounds until he took that hit back in Detroit. Great to see. Another victory in Atlanta and two victories here in two different venues for Jason Anderson.